Oh, who? Hello? Is this on? Well, I say I couldn't tell if it was on or not, but whatever. Hello, people. This is Ion Noobs at StarCraft. Now, um, I should probably be getting to the next walkthrough game or, like, actually doing stuff, actually posting something for my RPG because I actually have stuff I can show you. But, hey, procrastination for the win. But, uh, before that, I'm going to do a little something. Let me do some interesting stuff here. Let me just check outside my window because I think my friend's over, but no, he is not. Okay, so we can get this done then before he shows up. Okay, today we're gonna today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna teach you all how to use the StarCraft campaign editor. This is one of my favorite things to do. Back in the day, was just to sit down and make a lot of StarCraft maps. I have some. I have a couple maps up actually. For download at StarCraft2.org, there's a uh, link to my profile you can use to um, reach my site, download my download my stuff. I have a lot more maps, but there's a lot of stuff that I've made that I'm not exactly proud of. Anyway, I'm going to teach you in the simplest details, in the absolute simplest details that I can. So... Let's gonna start the game. Okay. Whenever you open up the StarCraft Cam Battery, you get this empty field of dirt. Okay? We don't want the empty field of dirt. So we're gonna go to some new scenario. Yeah, nice amount. Uh, you got some nice options right here. This will let you make this will make you this will let you decide on a simple map. Um you, here's the width and the height. Now if it's hit as a square map though, you'll have to turn that off if you want to like change the height. You got some nice, you got some nice heights right here. You got, this is the amount of, this is the biggest that you can get, the smallest you can get the maps. And this is the biggest you can have the maps. So it's like you don't really get too much, you don't get to put your own custom size. But for your purposes, you should be able to have enough. But for your purposes, you should be able to get what you want. Next thing you can do is you uh, change your tile set. Ash World is basically like the environment like Char, the plant Char. The Badlands is the um, environment like uh, Mars Sahara, if you remember the StarCraft missions. Desert is obviously Core Hall. Ice is Braxis. Uh, installation are actually like inside a compound of some form. Those are kind of maps that you only really want to use for UMS maps because you can't build any buildings in those maps. Uh, jungle World is like Ire. The space platform is sort of like, you know, those battles in space that you see. And Twilight, Twilight, not the book, and thank God. But, uh, no, the area like the, the area like uh, Shikorius. So, you know, choose your map. Now, I'm a Protoss lover, so we're going to create Shikorius. So we're going to create a shortcut. So we're going to create a Shikorius type place. Uh, let's see. Then you can set your default terrain. This will automatically change the entire your entire map will instantly look like that. What you set. Um, we're gonna start with uh dirt. After they hit OK, your map will be generated. Okay. This is your task. There's your task bar off to the side. It will let you open up. So it'll let you open up for some. To get stuff that you need for uh, for each individual player, you can have up to eight players in a game at one time. Um, let's get used to the taskbar first up here before we do anything else. It's a sidebar. There's not really too much to explain other than what I told you. Um, this is a, this is this function right here. That button will simply create a new map. This will let you open another map that you have in reserve. There's your save. Let's you save your map. Let's you save your map. This is the undo and redo commands and delete. Never exactly use that. I honestly don't care. Um, now these are the layers. We're gonna get more into detail them into them later. But um, I'm gonna start with a little bit with now. Uh, terrain layer. When that's set, you're gonna be. You can start. This is pretty much like your editing tools. For example, with terrain layer, if you're using the terrain layer. When you have the terrain layer set, um, you're able to um, start editing the terrain. 
you hit that, and you can start pretty. And you can sprint, And if you take a look, I'm start. The terrain's changing around a little bit. It's not changing too significantly, but that's not because we don't have a brush palette yet. Doodad later lets you edit um, objects in the bit. Objects that are um, not owned by units, just more of designs and stuff. Just more of like the designs and stuff. Sort of like temples and other places, ruins, bodies. Unit layer lets you uh, add or delete units. Location layer that's um, used for triggers and stuff. We're probably not going to get to. We're, we're probably not going to get to this today. We're probably gonna. I'm probably not going to do this in this video. I kind of want you to uh, get used to actually making a map first before we start doing some thing. triggers. After that, I'll show you how to use the location layer. And now, uh, Fog of War is, um, again, another thing for campaign. This allows you to kind of, like, change the Fog of War a little bit. Basically, when you have a play basically, when you have selected a player, for example, I'm going to click hit, I'm going to click I'm going to click, first of all, I'm going to basically uh, click on, I have to generate a unit first. Because then it changes to the, what player you're using. This right here just shows you the player that the game is selecting. What Fog of War does, is it basically will darken the area, and then every area that you shade, and then every area that is then um, shaded up by simply using the mouse, and then holding the left button down, this, see how it's lighter? That indicates that you have um, that that portion of the map for that player will be revealed. It won't show anything. It won't entirely reveal it, which means you won't be able to see what's going on. But you'll have an idea of what. It's like, but you'll be able to see the terrain around the area and if there's mineral deposits in the area. That, however, is only used for campaign. We want to create like a small me Um, we're gonna create a small melee map first before we uh, get into some crazy stuff. So, we have to clear these zerglings away because we don't need, because that ruins the fit. Um, so you have an idea of now what Fog of War does. This player shows the currently selected player. You see how in this corner, like, it shows you what player is uh, being marked? Um, this will let you switch that player out. You can use that for a uh, Fog of War layer. You can use that for Fog of War layer and make it a little bit easier rather than just creating a unit. This here is the force thing. This allows you to uh, assign forces. This is entirely for a campaign edit, for a UMS maps, but um, we'll get. In, but uh, it's not too difficult, so I'll get into it right now. What happens is, um, you basically when you're creating a UMS map, you want to create separate armies and stuff. Like for example, I'm gonna want like a camp. I want a campaign where I want these guys and these guys to be on the. Where I want four player, like a four versus four, so um, I have the, so I separate them into four into two teams of four. Now when the game starts, these on these players are automatically on those teams and stuff. That means when you get into the actual loading screen, when you're about to when you're the loading lobby where players come in and stuff, there'll be four there'll be four slot open slots on force one and four open slots on force two, thereby allowing you to. Uh, Make it four versus four, and dividing it, and make it a little bit more effectively, especially for U M, especially for U M S maps. If there's like set purposes and triggers, and stuff like that, what you can do is you can also type in different names. So this is going to be Team One and Team Two. That means now in the loading lobby where the game, where players are coming in and stuff. Instead of saying Force 1 and Force 2, it'll now say Team 1 and Team 2. So, we can call this one Team Blue, and this will be Team Blue, and we can call this one Team Strotum. Team Strotum. I miss Lionel. And, uh, yeah, it'll be, <laughs> that's Team Strotum. I miss Lionel, he made a comment like that. He made something, he said something like that on a video we made. Now, um... There's also four additional options for here. If you set them as allies, each one of these put. Now, if you set everything, we're gonna turn this off because I gotta get into this. If you set these people as allies, well, what will happen is these people will be 